What's up, y'all? It's Andy down here in the basement doing a little bit of rigging on the iTrack 11. As you can see, I've got a Ram Bonda base that I've got a spot masked off for with the blue tape and uh, got the exact location that it's going to be adhered to the kayak. So <clears throat> there's a little bit of prep work you have to do. Uh, this round bonnet base comes with an alcohol prep pad. So what you do, you take your 120 grit sandpaper, rough up both surfaces right here on the, on the bow of the boat and also on the bottom of this pad. And what you'll do, you'll use this specialty uh, cement HH66. You're gonna, it's got a brush in the cap. You're gonna brush a thin layer on both sides, uh, on here and here and wait for it to to uh get tacky for about three to five minutes so i've got my my handy cold beverage that i can sip on and, until it's tacky and then i will stick it down and uh i'll start the video back uh once it's stuck on there and show you what i'm gonna do with it all right so i'm at the point now where this is just tacky it's not it's not sticky, it's not like liquidy anymore. So I'm to the point now where I can position this, get it where I want it, and carefully give it some pressure from the middle out as I stick it down into place. And do this very, very slowly and carefully. I brush that adhesive all the way out to the edge and a little bit over onto some of this tape because it's okay to have a little bit of bonding material outside of the footprint of this base. So I'm just gonna give this pressure for probably about a minute or so just to make sure that it it adheres well to the contour of this plastic, or this PVC. And this thing ought to be rock solid. Real strong bond. And that's pretty much it. I think I did forget to mention that um, uh, you need a very clean surface. Once you uh, get done sanding and roughing it up, you need to dust it off and wipe it with that alcohol pad that they provide. Make sure your surface is clean. Once I confirm that I have a good bond here, which I do, I can pretty much lift it up by this already. Um, I'm gonna let some air out of this middle compartment in this boat, and it needs to cure for 24 hours. So I can blow it back up after 24 hours. So um, basically what I'm gonna do with this I've got a little part here that I can run an anchor line through and have it hanging off the bow of the boat when I'm sitting in current in the river and uh, need to hold position. I'll have my anchor line, I'll have this in the track, have my anchor line running through here and then on this side, if I wanna put a camera mount, I can, or uh, anything else that, that I wanna go there. So, should be good to go. See y'all later. Hey y'all, just wanted to thank you for watching my video. I hope it was informative and entertaining and also wanted to remind you to check out the Dugout Bait and Tackle in Marietta, Georgia. That's where you're gonna find the Hobie kayaks. You're gonna find your Ram mounts and all sorts of other rigging gear and accessories and the best tackle selection in North Georgia. So check them out in Marietta or online at dugoutfishing.com. See y'all later.